Hey there, Rezo Faction. What? That is crazy. Watch the podcast. I'm just not sure about that right now. We're going to talk a little football. Let's get it, baby. Hey, I want to welcome everybody back to the Red Zone Faction Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Wilson. Uh, starting today, we're going to start doing a NFL draft analysis uh, for the previous draft we just had a couple weeks ago. I'm going to start with the NFC East and go forward from there. Today, we're just basically going to talk about the NFC East. But before I get started on that, I really kind of want to say something about this whole thing. The reason I don't put too much focus on these drafts immediately is because it's irrelevant. Yeah, they're all sexy picks now, but we all know three years from now, only a handful of these players are going to matter. I mean, everybody looks like they either had a bad or a good draft right now, but we have no idea. We have no clue. And that's why I kind of don't really pay too much attention to this right now. Uh, I, as an Eagles fan, I know, I, Lord knows, I've been stung many times on these first round picks, these early picks. You know, it's a gamble. You know, you invest in these players in the first, you know, first, second rounds, and they turn out to be duds, or you get a star. You, you just never know. With that said, we'll go ahead and start. Start with the Dallas Cowboys. They really needed some secondary help, some edge rushers. That was their needs. I thought they they filled their needs with Taco Charlton and Shadobi Owazi. Those were the first two picks, first and second round. Even the Jordan Lewis in the third round. I feel like they covered what they needed. Dallas Cowboys had a good draft. Overall, I give them a B minus for their draft. Understand that I think all four of these teams in this division had a pretty good draft. Dallas needed defense. They stacked up on defensive players. All needs were addressed. That's it for Dallas. New York Giants. They needed a lot of help, but at the same time, they're so strong in other areas. They could have just gone everywhere and took plus best available player, which I think is what they did. Uh, the Giants went after uh, Evan Ingram in the first round of the draft, 23rd overall. Tight end out of Ole Miss. As a Bama fan, we've been watching this guy for a minute, and he's pretty good. Thought that was a great draft pick. Eli has so much to throw to already, and now you add in Evan Ingram. Wow. I don't know what to do with this offense. This offense could be deadly. It could be potentially explosive. Uh, as an Eagles fan, I'm a little worried about that offense. I'm more worried about the Giants than I am the Cowboys or anybody else. The Giants are the team to watch this year. I'm just putting that out there. The defenses in this division are not exactly, you know, high-powered defenses. They're not shut-down defenses. They took Dalvin Thomas in the second round, defensive tackle from Alabama. So they shored up their D-line. I thought that was an excellent move. A still on their part. And then taking Davis Webb, uh, quarterback from Cal in the third round. I guess they're trying to get some insurance on Eli Manning. You know, Eli's getting older. But what I want to talk about is the one they got in the fourth round. They got Wayne Gallman, that running back from Clemson. Uh, nobody's talking about that. Giants needed a running back. They had Blunt in during the offseason, but nothing happened. I still say Blunt could end up with them or go back to the Patriots. But either way, Gallman was a great pick. He's not in every down back by any means. This kid knows how to win. I watched him run at Clemson. Uh, he's 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 not going to be an AP. I'm not coming out saying that. But uh, he can move the ball. He can move the chains. He can get you those extra yards. Uh, he, he's a playmaker. I gave Giants an A for their draft. I thought uh, between Evan Ingram, Dallin Thompson, getting Davis Webb, and uh, and Gallman, I thought the running back from Clemson. I thought that was uh, those four picks were phenomenal. I thought they were great. And uh, all four of those guys I expect to see on the field. Uh, Davis Webb, obviously, uh, not too soon. But uh, potentially down the road, we definitely see him come in. But I thought the Giants had probably the best draft out of everybody in the NFC East by far. I gave him an A. Moving on to the Washington Redskins. Washington Redskins had a great draft as well. Lost a lot of people this year in free agency. Didn't really go after that receiver like I thought they would, but I guess they felt like with Pryor coming in that they still had some other guys that contributed last year at wide receiver. So maybe they felt like they didn't need to do that. But either way, they, they really solidified their defense, that's for sure. Rounds one and two, taking Jonathan Allen and Ryan Anderson out of Alabama. I thought that was uh, phenomenal. And then taking a corner from UCLA in the third, they took a running back out of Oklahoma. Like I said, early on, anything after the third round, you're just throwing crap on a wall to see if it sticks. But those early picks, Jonathan Allen and Ryan Anderson in that corner from UCLA, I think they will definitely be, uh, I don't want to say starting. I know Jonathan Allen's probably going to start. 
Uh, and Ryan, Ryan Anderson won't at the beginning, but uh, I don't know. I think maybe through training camp he gets his way in. By the time the season starts, I think Ryan Anderson started too. Anyway, phenomenal draft by the Redskins. They filtered. They, they really solidified their defense. Again, really can't stress enough how bad I hate the fact that they went to the Redskins. Really great draft by Washington. I thought they, uh, I gave them a B. They did everything they needed to do on defense. And like I said a minute ago when I was talking about the Giants, when you've got an offense like you've got in New York, uh, you better draft defense. And if you pay attention, look at what happened in the draft. The Redskins, the Eagles, and the Cowboys all went defense early. And the Giants offense. Anyway, great job by the Washington Redskins. I will be waiting to see Ryan Anderson and Jonathan Allen when Philadelphia comes to play. I've already really given my opinion on how I think uh, Philadelphia's draft went. I'm giving the Eagles a B plus. All four of these teams, I think, hit where they needed to hit with their teams. Uh, the Giants being the, the one that went above and beyond, I believe, because they drafted the best player available, I believe. Anyway, Philadelphia uh, had a lot of needs. They need corner, linebacker. They needed an edge rusher. They needed a running back slash playmaker for Carson Wentz on offense. Could have been a wide receiver, running back, tight end, whatever. Barnett was a pick that I wasn't ready for. But like I said, as time's worn on, I've come to accept that the fact that he's going to be an excellent playmaker for our defense. He is going to get after the quarterback, and in this division, we're going to need that. Second round, we went after Sidney Jones. Sidney Jones, cornerback from uh, Washington. Uh, he tore his ACL in his pro day. He's recovering well. He's young, but it's a wait to see with these kind of tears because you don't know what you're going to get when he gets back. He's kind of a wait to see, but I think if he does come back full strength, then we got a hell of a cornerback in the second round. Uh, he was projected to go top 10 before the ACL tear. If we get a top 10 talent and Barnett, um, in love with the draft already. But then again, like I said, it's a wait and see. Third round, we took another corner from West Virginia. Russell Douglas, this guy looks legit. He's long. He's fast. I think he's a day one starter. Uh, that's not bad for a third rounder. But then again, you look at the corners that were there. I do think Jalen Mills was a uh, uh, he was a corner that we got last year from LSU in the draft. Uh, USCC fans know who I'm talking about. Uh, Jalen Mills did a really I mean he did a good job considering the fact he was a rookie last year. Uh, he did have some head scratching moments, but he was a rookie, so you know he was going to take some bumps, uh, and he did. But uh, I, I felt he went in well. Uh, he ended well. I can't see him. Uh, not being in the rotation somewhere, you know, at least at first until Jones comes in. I'm going to name my star players for each of these teams. Jonathan Allen, obviously, is a no-brainer for the Washington Redskins. Let's go ahead and say Gallman is the star for the New, for the New York Giants. And AP. But he gets the job done. Cowboys. Here's hoping it's Marquise White, cornerback, DB, Florida State. There's a senior bowl jersey. Philadelphia Eagles. I think Derek Barnett's the no-brainer. But at this point, it could be Barnett. It could be Jones. It could be Douglas. It could be Pumphrey. Uh, I think any of those guys are uh, capable of being the star of this draft. So it's hard to just pick just one. And I'm so biased because I'm such an Eagles fan. And I hate the other teams. And I'm sitting there and talk good about them. Really hate the Cowboys. And that's my NFC East analysis. I don't think any of these teams stepped out of bounds or did anything that was head scratching. They all did well in this division. That's going to be it for today's show. As always, I'm your host, Scott Wilson. This is the Red Zone Faction. Like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Leave the comments down below if you like this video. Bye.